Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the In the Black Quant Edge VTF here at T3 Live with this week's market wrap up and oh yeah, volatility's back and it's not a matter of finding trades, it's a matter of getting to them all now, which is a really good thing from change from last year. So uh, I do a blog on our uh, T3 Live site on uh, Facebook and I tweet that stuff out at Rob in the Black and so we talked about this all week long. Really well telegraphed, this, this week was so well telegraphed it was great. And by that what I mean is here, when we're going to open a new month in the S&P, we got a pretty good idea we're going to open inside month. Which means we're nowhere near taking out the highs or the lows. What that tells us is we can expect things to go back and forth. So it's just starting in the month, but we had already had a precursor of that on the weekly stuff. When you see a, a, a dive like this, and this is really, if you, if you put this together... Right? How are we going to take that out, and how are we going to take that out? Well, immediately, we aren't. Right? So we had this tight little inside week last week. But we knew that was suspect, unless it really goes measured move and starts taking that up. Any t change in continuity, which means any time the day goes red or the 60 goes red, we want to be aware of that. And so then you get the one-bar rev strat outside week to the downside, and outside bar is a fractal triangle. It has to be. Right? And here it is. Here's your broadening formation, which you can expect to begin when you get into a range like that. And there it is. Lower lows, higher highs, boom, boom, boom. Then we got this outside bar here. Perfect, right? There's your bearish engulf. But it's not quite bearish engulfing because this is, a, I don't think that opened higher, but it's an it's a outside bar, which means that they're willing to pay up above the previous bar and sell below. That means both buyer and seller are aggressive, and if that continues, you get your 3-2 setup. Bam. That's right. Two is taking out one side of the range. And then all the way down, take all these guys out. Because, you know, people draw horizontal lines and think that they're support. You know those guys? Yeah, well, they're gone. All right. So then we come down in here, and we gap down a little bit today, and then we exhaust and come right back up. So talked about this all week on the, on the Facebook site and just kept drawing this triangle for you because we saw it coming a mile away. <laughs> there you are. Here's your Fed Day triangle where everybody thought that was volatility. Said, so, you ain't seen nothing yet. Come up into here and then whoosh, all right, take them all out. And then as we exhaust, we came back up today. So we'll be looking at this for, cer for certain because now that we've rallied back, the question is, now do we go inside, outside, inside week, all right, and still consolidate, which means this. Here, inside, outside, and then how do we get outside of this? We're going to take out the lows of the highs. We're going to stay inside weak. And that would mean we're going to have to pay attention. Anytime that 60 goes opposite of the day or any of that, going to be aware of that because we've got to get out of that range now. So what was great was as soon as we started exhausting and coming back up, here, all right, here's your gap. Now, which side of the opening range are we going to take out? The upside. And what that gave us was good old VXX. And VXX, 60 shooter, the 50 calls were trading a buck 70. Those things went out zero. That was a thing of beauty. And using that 3 2 setup, which you'll see here, you just go to the 15. See that outside bar? There it is. 3 2, bam. Whale on the calls, short it, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then another thing on the opening we look for is that 3 2 setup right on the 15s. Right on the opening, as you see, Sarepta here. Real nice Sarepta opening here. Outside bar, 3-2, right there above 62.75, bam. It's 3 bucks and 15 minutes. It was real nice. And then UHS, we can look for that. Once again, just like the downside on the weekly, the SPY, the outside bar, one countering the inside bar, RevStrat, the 1-2 setup. And you can look for that, and if you go to UHS, you're going to see the 60 broadening formation like this. All right, the triangle looks like this. Boom, 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 come up, can't quite do it, takes them all out. Then inside 60 to start. And if this works, we're going back to the top of the triangle or more, and we're going to cause that weekly rev strat. Real nice opening here, 116.15, and bam, gone. STMP, another good one, because you want to look for when the SPY does this. Right? The SPY starts gapping down on here, but yesterday looks like this. <laughs> like this, but you start rallying back, you want to look for any stocks taking out yesterday's highs. Why? Because anybody who's short can stay short because the market's tanking. But if after this and the market starts rallying back, take out previous highs, anybody short yesterday is in trouble. Right? So you look at like STMP. Stomper. Oops. STMP. Right on the daily hammer here from yesterday comes up, and you'll see this. Inside 60. Pops up and then goes inside six here. Outside, inside, three, one, two. 
Right, so as soon as it takes that inside bar, 190, 370, good to go. Six bucks if you just held it to the bow. Then the gapper list was really nice. So I tweet that out, at Robin the Black every morning. So Nordstrom, even if you miss the downside, way down in here, there's other ways in here. Here's that 3-2 setup off the 60, and that got you in here. 51.09 for another two-bucker for doing nothing. BW was on that list. If you go down to the 30 here, you're going to see the inside 30. Nice percentage gains when you get the 30 up at 5 bucks and goes up towards 6 That's pretty nice. And there's some other things in here, like here, for a continuation. This momentum hammer, when you get the 2 up, that takes out that range, 2 down, and then 2 back up, right in, right here. If we go to um, OPK, OPK, and you can see this right off the opening 15er. This is nice, too. Inside 15 to the upside. So you can look for those inside or outsides on the opening 15. That's 284 come 337 for the little guy move. MU, 30. Inside 30 here. Once again, looking for something that's going to go outside and take out the whole range. Right? Yesterday's highs. And so that 30 triggered that. Real nice in here. Uh, we know letter X was in play to all the tariff, tariff, tariff. Inside 60 up here. This was nice, right in there. 44.12, boom, up through 45.50 in the next hour. Uh, then when we look for those hourly uh, outside bars, we got a nice trifecta in the afternoon. Here you go, outside 60 in the Netflix. Right here, outside 60 in the Netflix, 295.50 come 301. And it's Friday, El Cheapo Options. What a nice day it was. AVGO, the same with the trifecta. These guys, 3 to the upside, above 248. And W day, get. There you go. <laughs> outside all those three. At the end of the day, 127.36. And the options cheap. And once again, looking for that daily to go, boom, outside on that. Then, if that wasn't enough, that's this is just some of what we we're able to get. Like I said, we need more people. Let's <laughs> just get all this stuff. But Dow Jones Diamonds, end of the day, inside 60 upper to get your Dow futures right there, right on the bell, and get them Dow future options and all that kind of stuff. So uh, trading's back. A volatility is back, and it certainly is a good thing for us. So uh, hopefully uh, you're catching a lot of this stuff, and if not, come join me during the day. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot of this stuff out, and you can get some of these vids during the week and uh, hopefully help you out. Hopefully you had a great week, and hopefully you have an even better weekend. I'm Rob Smith, the In the Black Quantity GTF here at T3 Live with this week's Market Wrap-Up.